Hey kids, what's up? It's your host, Pink Jimmy Photon. Ooh. With yet another episode of You Guessed It Stupid Puddle Tricks. Ooh. So uh, I recommend you fire one up, grab yourself a beer for a minute, whatever it is that turns you on. This attractive little device here, if I'll turn the light off so you're not going blind no more, is uh, the revisitation of the original photonic Yergulator. This is Mach 2. Changed a couple things. It still works on the same Vero layout that's on tagboard effects, too. Yeah. Win one for us good guys for a change, instead of having to change all kinds of shit around. Um, transistor changes are one thing in it. Um, component changes too I'll put like a schematic up in the uh, comments part of this thing but uh, anyways uh, let's see what it sounds like the original harmonic percolator you had uh, harmonics and you had uh, blend which was basically like a master volume on this one you have the harmonics control, which is the input gain, basically, and your balls, which is the, the balance. Focus and percussion do weird things. They change the biasing of the transistors, which allows you to dial in some like pretty cool sounds. But here's the thing. The emitters in this are tied together, and there's audio there. And the emitters are like, as near as I can figure... Uh, since they're tied together with this huge cap, I mean, an electrolytic cap holds charge, right? So it appears that that cap is what all the, the percolation thing is about with a harmonic percolator. Um, matter of fact, you could pull Q1 while this thing was running, and it would sound the same. It would still keep working. But as the cap discharged, it would just kind of fade away. So it makes it crazy when you're trying to swap transistors in this thing to find the right ones to make it really sound good for you, you know? So my recommendation is, every time you want to try different transistors, power it down, breadboard the thing first, of course, but power it down, and then uh, discharge that cap, short it to ground. And then put your transistors in, power it back up, and then you'll have a fresh pallet to start working with. If you pull out one transistor, and you put another one in, before the first transistor reaches bias, apparently, the second transistor that you'd already pulled out, the sound from it's still in there. It's still coming out of the, the other side of the pedal. It is bizarre. I can't explain it. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's a rocket scientist out there that understands why the hell this thing does that. I don't know. I'm just a simple monkey. Kind of opposable thumbs, you know. Uh, give me 10,000 components and 10,000 years in a breadboard, and I'll come up with something like this every time. Um... Uh, and of course the phone starts ringing. Josh McGee. Gotta reject it, Josh. Sorry, man. I'm running out of time. I have to leave in a few minutes. Uh, but I will call you back shortly. <laughs> I bet you're gonna goof when you see this video when I say that. Anyways, uh, enough dicking around. Let's see what it sounds like. Alright, here's the... Uh... Right now the guitar is going into a custom K200 and a PV Valve King Royal 8. And I'm just using the Royal 8 and the, the, the combination of the two just sounds good to my ears. Let's kick on the Ergulator. I'm going to put this down so you can see what the hell's going on. Or try to put it down so you can see what the hell's going on. There's so much crap on my bench as usual. Let's see. Uh, will that stay? Will you stay? You good? Good? Good thing. I got a message. Let's turn it on. No volume. Uh-oh. Let's turn up the balls a little bit. Get a nice 
nice clean kind of overdrive that works on like pretty chords and stuff. I'll turn it up a little bit so it's about unity gain about half. Put the knobs halfway up. Neck pickup's even nicer. And for perspective. Fun starts when you turn the uh, harmonics up, of course. So we'll crank that up about three quarters. Astute listeners might notice the guitar is a little out of tune, but I can't find the damn tuner and I'm running out of time, so uh even like dissonant intervals. All the notes ring out. Yep. I'll be up in a couple minutes. Correct the harmonics full blast. Have mercy on the people in my house and turn it down a little. to catch up because of that cap but it affects the sustain turn it down about halfway turning it down makes it more round affects the other transistors. Kind of cleaner. Turn that down. Makes it browner. And we dial in different kinds of tones. Because it's got a kind of low... Leads up beautifully.
the uh, photonic irregulator, whatever the hell I called it. The irregulator Mach 2, coming soon to DIYers near you. As always, we got uh, the stupid pedal down here. You got the stupid guitar and the stupider guitar player. Hey, how you doing? Oh, cool. Fire out. Um, anyways, uh, check back soon. We'll have something weird cooked up down here in the utility muffin research uh Laboratory. <laughs> Peace out. Talk to you soon. Bye.